Okay, quiet on the set. We're rolling, rolling in three, two, one, action. Hello, my name is Michael G. Graziuso. I'm a film student from Brooklyn, New York. Join me on a journey into the evolution of the superhero film from its humble beginnings to a multi-million dollar powerhouse. The superhero film has been around since the silent era, speaking its first words in 1936. No, that's not my mark. When the world was at war, those who were back home went to the movie palaces for their news and to escape the harsh realities of the real world with their favorite superhero serial. In the 1950s, a new invention called the television started appearing in living rooms all across America. The superhero found a new home as serials transitioned to TV shows. Someday, you just can't get rid of a Studios had all but forgotten about the costume crime fighter until 1977 when George Lucas and his blockbuster film Star Wars broke all previous box office numbers. Lucas was inspired by the 1940 serials. This prompted studios to open their vaults to find inspiration for the next blockbuster. Warner Brothers was the first to answer with Superman. Easy, miss. I've got you. You've got me! Who's got you? Starring Christopher Reeves as the definitive Superman. The man who inspired me as a child to wear a red towel like a cape and jump off my roof. This epic blockbuster was the first of its kind for the genre, grossing over $300 million along with an Academy Award. Thank you. Over the next 20 years, studios will produce up to 50 titles. Some good, some bad, some that are considered today cult classics, masterpieces, I'm Batman. and many were outright train wrecks. Hi, By the end of the 20th century, we were at a time of peace and prosperity. The world had no need for heroes, but on September 11th, 2001, America was attacked, and that all came to an end. Once again, movies became an escape. People yearned for a hero, and who better than their friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Based in New York, he was the perfect hero for the time. The superhero is now in high demand. And with the advances of CGI, studios are able to bring our favorite heroes to life like never before. However, CGI was not always the best option. Movies were starting to look like video games as filmmakers had forgotten how to use practical effects. In 2008, Batman raises the ball with The Dark Knight grossing over a billion dollars and nominated for eight Academy Awards. We are now living in the era of the connected universe. Marvel was the first to adapt this concept with the Avengers, and DC is not far behind starting their cinematic universe with the reboot of Superman. This competition is great for fans because now we're getting quality films. This is the golden age of the superhero. DC, Marvel, Fox, and Sony have films planned out for the next 10 years with 8 coming out this year alone. The superhero film will be around for many years to come. Help! Help! I'm sorry, I have to fly. Bye for now.